On episode 243 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the movie Causeway. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we just saw The Causeway by Apple TV. Since this is a streaming movie, there was no trailers. So what do you think, April? What's your What's your score? I really enjoyed the movie. I'd give it a solid, uh, I think, a four. Yeah, for me, it was a four, too, definitely. Uh, Once again, you and I have the same opinion on the movie. (laughs) Um, You want to do the storyline? No, you. I'll let you do the storyline, and I'll start with the cast. Okay, so this is about a U.S. soldier who suffers a traumatic brain injury while fighting in Afghanistan and struggles to adjust to life back home. This was done by first uh, feature film credit uh, director Leela Neugebauer, and but she's known for some episodes of Room 104 the, and The Sex Life of College Girls. And uh, she did an episode of that series you like, Made. Yeah, that was good. And all three of these writers who did this, this is their first writing credit. This is was Otessa Moshfe, Luke Goebel, and Elizabeth Sanders. Okay. In the cast, we have Jennifer Lawrence, Brian Tyree Henry, Linda Edmond, Danny Woolahan, and Stephen McKinley Henderson. Runtime of 92 minutes, and it's rated R for language, sexual references, and some drug use. Okay. So we've got a theme and a tone that's pretty much a buddy flick that focuses on trauma, both physical and mental, and how sometimes you need someone else to help you get through. Yeah, this is interesting because this, you know, we, we both gave this four point four stars. For me, this is wasn't an action movie. It wasn't. A, this was a very much a character study and a story of these two people, how they come together. It's set in New Orleans, by the way, and mm-hmm. how these two people come together and how they both had suffered major traumas, different types of traumas, but they both suffered traumas, and they needed each other to... Yeah, it was very well acted by a very small cast. Yeah, That was just the best way, I think you said that immediately, as far as the acting and the characters. Um, But yeah, it was was about a very unlikely friendship. I want to say that the direction on this was very strong, but I love, again, we talk, Tim and I talked about this, the quality of the actors. Yeah, I mean, when you have two it's actors like Jennifer Lawrence and, 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 um, and um, Brian Tyree, I mean, he, they're oh, both he was so good. very good actors. And, yeah. and you know, I, it's one of those things where I think you just step out of their way as a director. Right. The score wasn't very noticeable. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember the score at all. Cinematography. Decent, nothing special. Right. Kind of showed you the the less desirable areas of New Orleans. It did, and the production design, nothing special here either, like you said. But it but it did take a nice look at both the poor and the rich side of New Orleans. Right. That yeah. pool and that one scene <laughs> in the backyard. I mean, I wanted to live there. Uh, special effects, none. Uh, we, the movie starts out with Jennifer Lawrence's character. in a, She's the, the vet who suffered the trauma in Afghanistan to the head. And, you know, it starts with her in the hospital. I think it was in Germany. Right. Um, right. The pace was slow, but but that's what happens when there's a complete character study. Yeah, I mean, th- like I said, this was not an action movie. No, but I loved it. And I also loved the growth with two people because of the friendship. I mean, without that friendship, I wonder if both of them would have grown the way they did. So I always love that. The dialogue, um, you talked about this being painfully dull at times, but it helped build the characters. <laughs> yeah, it And did. the entire, uh, you know, um, the spin on the story. And it's very good. You know, when we, we, we get down to the story arc of a movie, this is where I think that where this movie really shined for me. The story arc was very satisfying. There, you definitely get close, well, I'm not going to say closure for this for the characters, but you you get satisfied that that 
the main characters, they had both growth and, and through self-forgiveness and, yes. and you know. Which so. I think it's it's one thing to have become very self-aware, but it's another to forgive yourself for, for something if you need to do that. And I loved it. And she was better at the end of it. And so was he. One of the things that surprised me, just about me, if you've been listening to this podcast for any point in time, you know that that I don't like movies that aren't, I typically don't like movies that aren't tied up with a bow at the end of the movie. This movie isn't tied up with a pretty bow at the end of the movie. Right. Good point. It, it leaves a little bit to, to you as the viewer to, to, to decide how you wanted the movie it to does, end. It does, and I usually don't like that, but in this movie, I didn't mind. Yeah, I did not mind it either. Yeah. I thought uh, it was a satisfying ending for me, yeah. so it surprised me. Yeah, and I just, I don't know, their friendship, we've all had those friendships that are just so chill. They're, they're at ease, but we're better because of them. And this is just one of these unlikely. And it also shows you to keep out there, keep meeting friends, no right. matter where you are in life or what age, because it keeps you growing. And you nailed it, too, on, on the head. The thing about this movie is, is these two are, are probably two very unlikely characters yeah. to ever have met. Yeah. But they did meet and they became fast friends. Yeah, it was it was really fun. They had just had a certain chemistry. All right. So this is The Causeway on Apple TV. Both April and I give this movie four stars. It's really, if you have Apple TV, it's well worth your time on to sit down and, and watch this. And like I've said before, if you don't have Apple TV, get it. Oh, because absolutely. Because they don't make junk. Oh, I know. They haven't made get any it. junk. Get it. Y'all enjoy this movie and enjoy all the movies of the season. Um, we're just, we appreciate you. We appreciate all the support. And I, I hope you're staying happy and healthy. Yeah, thank you so much. And we really appreciate you. And if you haven't already done so, please tell a friend about the podcast. Happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays to everybody around the world. We love y'all. Thank you so much. And we're so grateful. See you at the movies. See you at the movies.